Hello. Woo. Now, doesn't this look delicious? Delish. Oh, man. So I went to um, Golden Corral because I was like, okay, so what can I eat for my another um, Thanksgiving um, dinner? Hey, yay! I got a fork. Study a spoon fork. I love Golden Corral. I love their cornbread. I really do. And I have macaroni and cheese, yellow rice. Let me hold it up so you guys can see. I know I showed it to y'all, but I want y'all to see what I got. I got some collard greens, some mashed potatoes and gravy, some meatloaf, some hamburger. It's supposed to be served, um, steak and gravy, some yellow rice, some mac and cheese, some green beans, and I have a bourbon chicken here with this delicious cornbread. <laughs> so before I start digging in, how we doing today? Hope everyone is having a wonderful, safe day. Pause my video. Yeah, you see, I'm, I got a good meal today, y'all. Pause it. Go get y'all a meal. It's after Thanksgiving, so maybe y'all, you know, pause my video, go warm up some of y'all goodies, which I have for Thanksgiving, and we can sit here, enjoy this meal together while we are having a conversation with me. So I did have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I didn't have to cook, um, which is great. So what the job, who cook? Who else cook? I know one of my subscribers said it was just her. But who is, mm, mm. I love their mashed potatoes and gravy. This is supposed to be steak. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. So good. I know I'm not gonna maybe eat all this. I'm gonna tell you something my daughter because she know. I don't know what she eat from well though. Me and her don't eat the same thing. Mm. So let me tell y'all. Remember in the video when I told y'all what happened to me at the airport and what happened to me on the plane? That ordeal for me It wore me out. Cause not only was I violated in the airport, but I was sort of insulted on the plane. You would not think that people would have time to harass you or anything on a plane, right? Being that we had so many delays our 22 hour flight turned to 25 hours. Mm. So, when we got to our Airbnb, I promise y'all we slept for two days. Mind you, we already lost two days coming. That plane wore us out. We woke up. We went to the store. Now, they only have one store. So, I mean, for them, they store is like a mall to us. Y'all go to the mall? That's what I feel like. Because their grocery store is inside. Look, inside their grocery store, they have one side, the whole side, with cooked food, 
every cooked food that you eat, they have it there. Then they have the right, right, right there. Then they have the um, produce, the seafood. When I say seafood, I mean fish. I like that fish there too. And they got the produce there. And then they have frozen food. Then you go down a little bit more. You got water aisle. You got a beer aisle. And let me tell y'all something. They also got an alcohol aisle. Yep. Where you can get all your alcohol from. Right there. Then you go down a little bit more. You got house goods. You got um you got clothing, bedding, shoes, men, women, hair products. Then once you finish shopping, you pay for all your stuff and then you start walking through the through the mall, I'm gonna say. Like for You want to buy you some clothes. You want to buy some fancy shoes or whatever. Everything is right there. You don't have... They only got one. That's a one-stop shop. You get everything right there. So we went and got everything we needed. Because we got the Airbnb for three days. It's a good thing we did because we usually don't do that. We usually... um Once we get there... We rest from the plane ride, and then we're going to do what we have to do. But I promise y'all, that wore us out. Somebody told us because we're getting older. I tell you, I don't know. They might be right. Because on my husband, I didn't do nothing in Airbnb. He did everything. He did all the cooking. He did all the washing the dishes. All I did was eat and slept. The third morning we got up, I said, babe, we got to go out and do something. He said, well, maybe we can get it for one more day. I say, one more day? Come on, babe, now. He was still tired. And so what we did was, we went to his, what did we do? We went to Brother Oswald. Because I can't do stairs like that. His mom is still on the fourth floor. I commend them. But they've been doing it for years. And mm -mm. me and stairs don't work out. Oh, I haven't eaten any of this delicious cornbread and my green beans. You see, I'm not complaining because Golden Corral, whoever. You know what about Golden Corral? They cater to all your taste buds. Whether you want Mexican, you want to do the have Italian? Yeah, spaghetti and stuff. Um, you want fried chicken, baked fish, baked um, chicken, whatever you want. Pizza, salads, desserts. Oh, man. I don't too much get their desserts, though. Not really. Because once I eat all this food, I'd be like, mm. Mm. I had to open my Pepsi outside because it's full of ice and it started running over when I opened it. Oh my God, so good. Oh my God. So, once we got out of the Airbnb, we was good. It just was making the initial move. 
But we did, um, being that we love that Airbnb, we booked it for when we come back. So we we're gonna, you know, rest before we get back on that plane. And um, we were just gonna chill out, walk around his home city, because we, as a matter of fact, we've never done it. We go to Bucharest, and we go to his hometown, Ploish. And I've never, ever walked it. Never. Which is crazy. We've never walked it. And that's what our plan was, right? So, the day before, we was leaving one of the cities we was in. He said, oh, my brother called he wants to come early. I say, what? Yeah. So you say, that's the only day he's going to be able to um, do the boat ride with us. I say, okay. I say, oh, okay, so. We got to come back early so we can do a boat ride. I enjoyed it, though. I enjoyed the boat ride, but then after that boat ride, I was done. I really was. I got up that morning. I really didn't want to do nothing. My husband was going to go do something. So he went and go visit some of his friends, and I stayed home. And then he came back. And he went back out again. I'm like, I didn't care anyway because I was just too tired. I don't know what it was, but I was super tired. I'm getting full. I ate a lot. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -mm. like this, I tend to eat more of because it is what it is, right? Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. And it's cornbread. Promise y'all. I can't really see myself, so I'm going to apologize now if my lip has been messy this whole time. You know, I'm sitting in a car and I got it up on my dashboard. I don't really mm -mm -mm. see myself. Mm. So I think I'm gonna leave this for my daughter because I'm, I'm too full. say excuse me then whenever people burp I said don't apologize for burping your food is like eating a lot of air and everything but I think it's just part of you saying excuse me when you burp so I'm going to end the video here because I promise y'all I'm so smooth food my daughter gonna love this this she gonna love by saying don't forget to subscribe to my channel Hit the notification bell. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. <laughs> and share my video with all your friends and all your family. Everyone have a wonderful, safe, and a blessed day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.